Hey Patricia, how you doing? Really super cohesive package. Nice job. Let's start with the business card. Okay, so let's go up to, we're on page one business card. I wouldn't do it. The QR code here is just too, too much part of your business card. Um, it's okay to use a QR code. I think it's fine. I would probably put it down here somewhere though. They don't have to be as big as they used to be. So that's a cool thing. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't do it. I would, I definitely wouldn't do it. I would stick to tradition here. Um, and your book, your book will back me on that. The book definitely rec recommends that you keep your business card traditional in terms of giving your telephone, your mailing address, your email address, your, um, uh, website if you have one. And then, of course, your social medias. Now, I don't know about using the, the, uh, well, I, I'm, and it's up to you. I just think that you, your, your card has so many visual stops to it right now that I think, you know, including the logos, I think is adding just another visual stop. I mean, why don't you just say Facebook Patricia Kimberly or a Behance Patricia, PF Kimberly at Behance.com. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, because right now each one of these creates a, 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 adds a weight. And every time you add a weight, you can consider that as a, to be a visual stop. So you're, you have all these visual stops and I think it's just too much. And we can see that in your mock-up. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, this is really elegant. I, I like this a lot. I, I think it's really sharp. Um, great idea. Good choice to, to, to present it. just for the contrast. It's the, 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 uh, uh, modern sans with the, that, uh, all cap, um, uh, serif typeface. Now, one thing I notice is, is are, are these all capital letters or are these all caps? These look like capital letters. Um, if you want to set, find this type, uh, go to open type and see if it has all caps. Um, it's it set a little bit differently. These look like they're all capital letters as opposed to being set in all caps. Hope that makes sense. Um, okay. The, this looks great. I think this is really, really good. Nice color combinations. Um, right now, I think that you have your logo. Now, in any branding, you're going to have safe, clear distance where you present your logo, um, that nothing else encroaches that logo. Right now, you've got your address encroaching that logo. And I think that might be something that would be reconsidered. Maybe put your address down here with the rest of your contact information. I think that would be the, the logical fix. Don't think you need this big gray bar here. Really don't. Uh, this is, a, would be considered breaking your branding. I mean, it's a different color. Uh, totally. So that, that's something that we'll, we'll talk about in a second. Uh, again, let's talk about visual stops. Now we've got these big blue bars are all visual stops. So every one of these is going to, is going to make the viewer stop and go, oh, okay, I got to stop here. I got to stop here. It doesn't allow a vi nice visual flow through. It's just, I think it's the, the, the visual stop will be created by the headline. I think that's enough for a resting point to allow the eye to rest. So this isn't such a daunting thing to have to look at and try to read. You see what I'm saying? But these big blocks right here are just too heavy. Okay. So let's then jump to your, your giveaway. I think this looks awesome. Can't wait to see that print out, printed out and, and mocked up for in, in, uh, for for real that's going to look cool okay and i want to go to this mock-up because i this can show further what a couple of things i'm talking about um so see look at okay that gray bar right there see how thick and heavy that is it's just too heavy and the, the stops i was talking about <laughs> instead of being able to flow through and stop and rest you're kind of making a making them just kind of plunk down right there um the, uh, see what I mean about the QR code? Really big and clunky back there. Then you have these great, these black logos next to these, uh, white on color logos. Logical thing would be to turn those into the, 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 the green color, the turquoise color. Right? I mean, that would solidify the branding. Right now, that's your weak link right there. Definitely. Okay. Other than that, I think, I, this is really, really good stuff. Good, good stuff. Great mock-up. Wonderful presentation. If you have any questions at all, give me a holler. All right. Good job, Patricia. Thank you.